Hi everyone, welcome to this week's Make and Take Craft. Today we are painting these little unicorns. Our story time theme, theme of the week is unicorns and so we're painting today. And I'm really excited because I love to paint. So you will need one of these unicorns to paint. We're making them main. You might have um, a longer sheet of paper and that's okay. That just means you get to have um, a bigger mane. You'll need watercolor paint, a straw, a paintbrush. You might want some colors to color with. Um, yeah, and if you stick around to the end, I will give you your summer reading event code and you can type that in and get some points. All right, let's get started. Um, a couple more things that you might want to have handy. I have some paper towels in case it gets messy. Um, I have some water to dip my paintbrush in because um, this project works really well when the colors are super watery. Um, and also, if you want to switch colors, you can just put your paintbrush in your water and then kind of swish it around and dab and then just do a different color. So I'm going to start with purple. So this project um, is done with like a little pipette, which is kind of like a science tool or an eyedropper. Um, and you can use the watercolor to make drops and then and then blow with your straw, but I know that most people, including me, I don't have one of those at home, so um, I'm just going to show you how to do it without. So I have kind of a super watery purple now. I might not even need some more. And then I make a drop and I hurry, hurry, hurry. Whoops. And I blow using my straw. Whoops, I got some on the table. So I think what I'll do is just do purple kind of throughout. So I'm leaving quite a bit of space in between because I want to do different colors. And this is also why it's cool to have a really long piece of paper um, because you get to make the length main like really long this way and then really long that way. So one more purple right there. We'll change colors. Next, let's do blue. Okay, so I'm going to go kind of in between the purples with my blue. This is where my paper towel comes in handy. 
actually got some glove up there on the table. So I'm going like in between each little drop that I make on the paper, I'm making sure that my color is pretty wet so I can get like the perfect little drop. And you have to be kind of fast. Okay, well, let's do a couple more colors. How about orange? It looks pretty cool when the colors mix together. Even when it's brown. <laughs> Sometimes the color is mixed together and it's brown, but still that looks pretty cool. Um, let's do green. Green next. Okay, I think I'm going to stop there, but you could keep going, um, especially if you have a longer paper. And you can also um, color your unicorn if you'd like. Maybe I'll make it have some pink ears. Oh, this is my favorite color. This um, kind of pale yellow. Well, I guess it's sort of tan, but it still looks, looks good. All finished. Your summer reading event code is Art Party. A R T P A R T Y. Art Party. It's one word, all lowercase, Art Party. All right. Thanks for making unicorns with me. It was really fun. I will see you next week. Bye bye. I want to show you one more thing. This is how I wash my paint brushes. So I get them wet, and then I put a little bit of soap in the palm of my hand, and I just go like this with my paintbrush until it's all clean. And then I let it dry for a while. I did the same thing with my sponges yesterday. Okay, so that's how I wash my paintbrushes. There you go.